Good morning, ladies. I have, or I should have, a former prosecutor, Kelly Siegler, and crime scene investigator, Yolanda McClary, from Co-Justice on TNT. Welcome, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Well, you guys, if I'm understanding, this is your premiere of Co-Justice. Is that correct, Kelly? Yeah, we're all excited. Yep. Starting right Tuesday. Then. Well, what brings you guys from these high-profile jobs to, to television? Uh, it's been con uh, quite an experience, don't yeah. you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from one to the other. Yeah. Well, which one's more dangerous, TV or being in that courtroom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. They think they both have their angles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I heard a little bit said by, you know, people see you as the Cagney and Lacey of this <laughs> new cold justice. They've made some quite some uh, comparison. I even read something where they said, oh, this is, of course, you know, this is online. Uh, somebody said Honey West and X is going really far back. What do you guys want us to, to, how do you want us to perceive cold justice and your roles in cold justice? And I'll start with you, Yolanda. Um, I just want people to perceive this show as exactly what we've been trying to say. It's two people coming together. It's not just two people. It's a team of detectives as well. And the town that we're working with, their detectives and, and their sheriff, um, just all reopening up a case, taking it from scratch. Um, we look at the work they did, but we kind of put it to the side and go ahead and open the case all back up, kind of tear it apart and rebuild it and say, see where we can take it. What kind of success rate are you guys having on this? And these are real cases, I'm thinking. Well, these are all real cases and, and they're cold cases. So that, that means that they're murder cases that were too difficult to solve until now. And so we're trying to refocus and start from scratch, like Yolanda said. And I think we've had some pretty good success. I think people are going to be impressed with the results that we've had this whole season, these past eight shows. What do you think it does to a family when you open a cold case like this? And I'm sure it depends on the circumstances, but what do you think, you know, the case has been closed a long time and maybe people have come to some kind of resolution that there is no resolution and now the case is open again. I think personally that that's the most beautiful moment of the show and when I was a prosecutor in the courtroom when the family member would testify from the witness stand about that knock at the door that, that where they found out that the case was going to be reopened what that did to them how that affected them that people and cops really did care and never had given up in a lot of ways that's as important if not more important than any resolution because sometimes you don't get a resolution but knowing that people care makes all the difference in the world. What do you think, well, tell me about the work that you guys do. You know, you're doing things that affect the soul and the heart and the mind and the lives of people. How do you deal with doing this for so long, and I'm sure you're seasoned veterans, and, 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 and not have it totally impact your life? Well, gosh, even though we have done this, our, to our total adult lives, um, I don't know emotionally if that really ever gets any better. I mean, just like on the show, when we talk to the family, um, we do this at the beginning of every episode, and at the end, they're the last people that we talk to. Um, it's, it's very emotional. I don't know that you ever get over feeling someone else's pain and not have that impact you somehow. I mean, it impacts us every time that we have to do it, even though I tell myself, okay, I'm not going to do this or I'm not going to cry or I'm not going to do this. You can't help yourself because you can so just feel their emotion. It's, it's consuming, but in a good consuming way. How do you uh, uh, continue to walk in life and not fear everything after you've seen so much? I think that it does affect you. I think that um, people would, would perceive that Yolanda and I are two mean, tough girls, even though we're not. Um, <laughs> we probably cuss too much because of what we've seen and heard our whole life. We, did the, we started doing this when we were babies, and you can't not be affected by it, but I think that you have to learn how to separate that out in certain situations, but all that experience and horror makes us good at what we do, so you have to take the good with the bad. Do you live life smarter? Meaning, uh, I had an expert oh, yeah. on, on, on mm -hmm. recently, he says, you know, don't go to the ATM after oh, dark yeah. and oh, yes. don't walk alone. And 
things that women or individuals, period, need to know. So do you live life smarter because you see it from a different angle? Our kids think we're paranoid. Yeah, right. yeah, they usually think that we need help. And um, because you're right, though, you do see things and you read reports that the public generally, I'm going to tell you, does not know, okay? Because it's not always put on news or put in the paper or whatever else. So are we paranoid? Oh, yeah. My daughter used to say to me, What is wrong with you? Yeah. And it's, I used to just say to her, You don't see what I see. And I just don't want you to ever be a victim. And um, we, we do think differently. I, I think anybody who works law enforcement thinks differently. Well, this is the 21st century where women have, you know, are coming into a different kind of power. So on cold justice, we are going to look at you guys in a different way. So you guys are kind of like role models. That's kind of scary, huh? <laughs> it's very nice, actually. <laughs> yeah, and kind of scary, no. Um, I, you know what? Um, I, I think that women in law enforcement, I think you're right, has taken a turn. I mean, it was always pretty much a... A man dominating field I think as far as DA's went and police and um, you're seeing a lot of that turn around I think it's harder on women on some instances um, being police officers I mean you know I, I could imagine myself you know fighting some six foot three guy that probably wouldn't go over too well but I, I gotta tell you there's some women out there that are unbelievable police women unbelievable I know the woman hero is really she's coming into her own well, I want to thank you, Kelly Siegler and Yolanda McClary, and I want to congratulate you on Cold Justice that's on and be on TNT. And when does it premiere? Next Tuesday. Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Oh, well, I can't wait to see you guys in action, and I wish you the best because you're changing the face of what women believe that they can be. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for being on the Valder Beebe Show. It's been my pleasure. Bye-bye.